name Ellen and this is Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. It's going to be maximum, it's going to be cross stitch, but it will not be an hour. How are you? It has been five minutes since my last floss tube or uh, four months. So um, I have a lot to talk about. Um, yeah, Christmas, I went on tour and Stitch North. So there's a bunch of stuff. I bought a bunch of stuff. I was given a lot of stuff. I stitched a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, you might notice that I'm in a different space. I am in my craft room. It's a work in progress. Um, half of the room looks okay and the other half is basically just boxes and a kitty litter pan. So yeah, my room smells a little, just a, just a little bit of soupçon of uh, cat pee. Very inspiring. Um, okay, so I have lots of notes and I'm gonna have a little bit of a caveat here. I am gonna forget stuff. It's been four months, people have given me stuff, I have done stuff, and I am, I'm gonna forget things and I'm gonna forget people. And I feel bad about that because I left it too long and there's too much stuff and it's overwhelming, but um, better now than two months from now when it's, I just wouldn't do it. So here I am, bloody, bloody, blah. Um, thanks for all the great comments on my, my last floss tube when I had my friend Ryan with me who now has his own floss tube and he is, my little bird has flown. He's uh, over a thousand subscribers already with just a few, a few episodes out. I believe he's actually filming one today too. So um, thanks for all the encouragement to Ryan. Um, he doesn't need me anymore. All right, let's talk about some stitching. I have a few finishes. Um, well, I actually have a lot of finishes, but I only have a few with me because uh, some of them were models, but I will, um, I'll include pictures of the, of the finishes here. Um, my first finish was the Lady Sampler from Assembler Petite by With Thy Needle and Thread. And I did this on 36 Count Dirty U by X Jew Designs with mostly cauliflower. floor. I added a few little um, embellishments um, here and there that I got from the Teresa Baird book just to, just, to, um, just to fill out some empty spaces that I wanted, but I thought it was sweet. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I think I was just tired of doing huge projects or working on huge projects that have no end in sight so I just picked this up. I think I started this on Christmas Eve and finished it in like a day and a half. It's a cute little piece. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe give it to Ryan and he can make it into a pin cushion or I'll just stick it under my bed with the dust bunnies. My next finish, I have been wanting to stitch this for a long time. This is called Trimming the Tree by Bendy Stitchy Designs. This is what it's supposed to look like. And here is my finish. I love this little guy and I am definitely going to stitch him again because he was just a joy to stitch. I did this on 28 Count Echo by Picture This Plus with the called for DMC except for I used one different color in a scarf because I didn't have the called for. So that's that. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, Maybe I'll make him into a little flat fold for Christmas. I don't really, I haven't, I haven't been decorating for Christmas for the last couple of years. I'm very bad. But this guy was irresistible. It's not usually in my, um, in my, what is it they call it? Uh, in my wheelhouse. This isn't the usual thing that I stitch, but I love him. I have to come up with a name for him. So yes, Bendy Stitching Designs. Love her. My next finish or at least the finish that I have here, is GBH 1848 by Modern Folk Embroidery. I did this on 36 Count Platinum with the called for DMC. I think I probably was almost done this last time, but I finished it the next day, I believe. Or did I show this as finished last time? I don't remember. Here it is anyway. It's beautiful. I love the pinks and the reds. I do want to get this one framed because it's so sweet and so pretty. 
Let me see. Let me turn it off. Yeah. Oh, let's sigh. Let's swoon. Can't go wrong with Jacob. My next finish. Um, actually, I do have this one. Hang on. Sorry about that. Um, was Mary Amelia's Bird. This one is by uh, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. And I did it on 40 count Patriots Brew with a uh, Leo and Roxy conversion that is now available at Evertote. You can get the chart and the glosses at Evertote. Um, now there is a swear word on this, so if you're a delicate flower, just close your eyes. and I'll tell you when to close your eyes so you don't see the swear. Okay, close your eyes now. It's funny because it's true. Anyway, this is another um, addition to my angsty bird wall. I already have a frame for it. I love this little guy. I'm looking for more patterns like this. So the antique bird look. Um, I'm going to do the, uh, the center motif of... That one by Hands Across the Sea that everyone does. You know the one I'm talking about. Anne Thomas. I'm going to do the center of that as an angsty bird one day. But yeah, there's Mary Amelia's bird with my own um, edition at the bottom instead of her text. And a Leo and Roxy conversion. It's available at evertoe.ca. Okay, now I don't think I have any more of my finishes here because they were um, models. Um, I did The Winter Quaker by Rosewood Manor and I did a Leo and Roxy conversion uh, for Caroline. It is on 28 count clean slate by Leo and Roxy and I believe that the uh, all of the supplies that you need for it except for the chart is available at Evertote. And here's what it looks like. Um, my another model that I did for Caroline was I'm quite the lady man 1844 from Bendy Stitchy Designs. Um, I did it on 32 count doubloon and I used the Leo, Roxy, Leo, Leo and Roxy conversion and uh, Ryan loaned, loaned me. He gave me some gold beads to put on it as per the um, design instructions and I finished it at Stitch North. So here's what that looks like. Uh, Caroline also asked me to stitch up the Stitch North freebie that was included in the swag bag. Uh, I stitched it on 40 count mystery, could probably Patriots Brew because I have a fair bit of that. So it was probably on 40 count Patriots Brew using Leo and Roxy Falu Red and Haystack that were included in the swag bag. And Ryan, Rye Rye McGuy, finished it. Uh, into an ornament. So here's what it looks like as the finished thing. Okay, I think that's all of my finishes. Um, I have some works in progress. And let's start with, um, sorry I'm so unorganized you guys, but there's a lot. Um, I started this on January 1st as part of Laura's big birthday sal, Elizabeth Isles from the Scarlet Letter. I'm only doing the bird and the vases, and then I will add a verse of my own. I guess this could be an angsty bird. Oh, sorry for the thread. I am using the Leon Roxy conversion, and it's on 36 count fog lifter from r, &R Fabrics. But I love it. Those urns are everything. Those flower pots. Look at those amazing colors. The color conversion to Leo and Roxy was done by Trixie Tricycle, our friend Jody. Hi, Fiona. Why don't you go away? It's my cat coming up to ruin my day. Um, my next work in progress is oh, 
I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's Anya Brokemer. Brokemer. Here's a picture of it. It's from uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. Here's a picture. I am doing this on 36 count prairie grass from Seraphim using Leon Roxy floss in the colorway called Gomez. I love this fabric. Here's my progress so far. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my God. Now those eyelets, that eyelet alphabet, no joke, people. No joke, the eyelets. But beautiful, beautiful, and I love Gomez. Now you're probably thinking, it's just a black floss, Ellen, but it's not. It's got like the, the slightest blue, like slight, it's a blue black, but not like a, a like you get in like a raven black or something, or a green black or anything. And this, this fabric is everything. Look at that. It goes from like a taupey red to a taupey green to just taupey taupe. It's everything taupe. And I love it. I worked a little bit on this at Stitch North, but not too much. Oh, can we just... I'm about half finished. Oh, I love it. Anyway, that's Anja, Anja Brokenschnuffner for Modern Folk Embroidery. My next work in progress is... Uh, Matilda Isabel Creasy, 1852, from Whilst Iris Naps. And I got a little bit done on this since my last. I brought the edge over, so I was able to cut down my fabric. But this is where I am, and I did a little bit of the verse. I'm not, you know, a religious person, but this is a Christmas carol, and, you know... I take the good stuff out of Christmas, the presents and the food and stuff, but not all the religious stuff that's work. I'm a bad person. Um, yeah, so here it is. Love it, love it, love it. I'm doing this in honor of my dear friend, Betsy Kleger. She had, um, Betsy is old Sal, and I think the chart that she chose was Little Birds from Blackbird Designs, but I wanted to do this one so badly that I asked her permission if I could do it, and she said yes. So look at look at look at the cow thing and the little guy that's next to the cow i'm not sure what you're seeing yeah and this is on 36 count something using the called for threads it's a beauty no doubt about it it's a beauty next oh here i started this on christmas day this is my christmas day start this is Harriet Goddard by Hands Across the Sea. First, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. You know what it's supposed to look like. I love it. I am doing this on 46 count XGU designs in Little Bunny and it's kind of pink and so I over dyed it with coffee but it just made it more pink. Not thrilled with that, but I thought it went okay with this and look how tiny. Look how tiny. Oh, I really actually like 46 count. Look how pretty. Are you looking at how pretty? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I should hold this stiller, more stilly. But I want you to see it all in its glory. Oh, that's Harriet Goddard. Next, oh, this was my start with my Sal with Ryan. We were doing a, a big ass hands across the sea style. I don't even know if we actually made a hashtag of it, but he's doing Mary Carter and I'm doing Sarah Brazier. <laughs> so good. And here is my progress so far. Oh, is it? This way. I am doing this on. 36 count winter white from Seraphim, and I'm using the call for DMC, and this is my progress. Look at those satin stitches. They're okay. I padded them, so this will be eating up a ton of DMC. I 
haven't worked on this much. I think just the week that I started it, I worked on it. I got bogged down in doing models for Caroline because yes, I'm her bitch. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Love it, love it, love it. Another work in progress. Another, another is um, Elizabeth Wood. Elizabeth. Another work in progress is Elizabeth Wood by Hands Across the Sea. Here's a picture of it. And here is my progress. Oh. I'm doing this on 32 count dark beige by X Jew Design using Leo and Roxy floss in the colorway Inappropriate. I did a little bit of work on this at Stitch North. I do love it. This is the, well, you saw it, it's the one where she's a very obedient girl. My uh, next work in progress is the Modern Folk Embroidery 2022 Mystery Sal. I am behind. I was gonna, you know, do the thing that I did last year where first of the month I just keep up and that's the first thing I do till I get done, but I went away and um, haven't kept up. So I've got January and February done and a little bit of March I did at, at Stitch North. But here we are so far. And I don't know how to pronounce the dear girl's name. Engelsbubba. Sorry, Jacob. Um, but I'm doing this on I'm doing this on 36 count Patriots brew using Leo and Roxy floss in the colorway chalkboard. This is my favorite combination for a black sampler. Love it, love it, love it. I've been seeing a lot of people doing it on Instagram and they're doing two colors. Because uh, Jacob gave that option and it looks fantastic. My most recent start, I started this at Stitch North. Rejoice Evermore by With Thy Needle and Thread. I am doing this on 46 count Neo and Roxy linen in the colorway porcelain. And I'm using my own Neo and Roxy conversion. And it's just on the, on the Q-snap because this is what I've been working on. But here we are. Uh, oh, it's just, oh, you're not getting the colors because the light is just not the best. Oh, man. The colors in real life are really beautiful. Cat sneeze. Are really beautiful. I'm very happy with my conversion. <laughs> oh, but this is going to be so beautiful. And there, there's my needle minder from Gwyneth. The little, the little Canadian flag curling stone that I got from Gwyneth. See? And this is the Stitch North uh, needle miner that came in the sweater bag. You should have been there. Why weren't you there? Okay, so those are my works in progress. Okay, now I have a lot of haul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Because it's been four months and I have zero restraint. Um, a lot of these were PDF downloads, so I'll just go through those quickly because um, I don't really have anything printed out to show. Um, first, I got Berry Bird by Bendy Stitchy Design. Then I got, this is in no order, I got their Virgil Keep from Julie at Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. Now I've looked uh, on her, um, on her site where she sells the charts that she makes. Um, I'll put the name of it here. I, I can't find it. So maybe it was just a limited time. I know it was a fundraiser for, um, Ukraine for, uh, I can't remember which particular 
uh, charity that she was donating the proceeds to, but it was it, the proceeds were going to help the people in Ukraine right now. Uh, so I got that. I got Lucy Calcutt, 1826 from Just Stitching Along. I can't wait to start this. And yes, I'll be doing a Leo and Roxy conversion. Uh, I got Forest Owls by Stitchy Princess. She's a Ukrainian designer. Super cute, super cute. I got Rosina Dizzery, Dizzery, 1820 by Works by ABC. I got the ES Spot Motif Sampler, um, originally designed by Of Female Worth and now distributed by 1844 Stitchery. I'm hoping to do this as a stitch along with Susie Reno because E, Ellen, S, Susie. Makes sense, right? It's beautiful. Uh, I got In the Bleak Midwinter by Park Hopper Bart. In the Bleak Midwinter is my mom's favorite um, favorite Christmas carol and I love it too so I thought I would do it and I like I just think this is a genius brilliant design here it is from Nikki pattern on Etsy I got three little birds maybe I'll use them for angsty birds I don't know From Modern Folk Embroidery, I got The Wings of the Dove. I have fabric and floss from Leo and Roxy in mind for this. Also from Modern Folk Embroidery, I got LFB 1788, the Red Deer Sampler. <sighs> Um, from With Thy Needle and Thread. Um, I have Stitch North Hall, and maybe I'll show that. I got the Redbird Sampler and Rejoice Evermore. Um, from Sarsi Girl in Manitoba, our girl who is the genius behind the 2020 pandemic um, sampler, you know, that big one with the sort of orangey border and the two big houses, genius. Um, all the, my DMC that's hung up there is on her stitchy hugs. I'll show you. Are you seeing my bum? Don't look at my bum. So this is what they look like. And well, this is a bad example because it's, it's too, too many skeins on one, but you just loop it like you would a normal floss drop. And uh, I like the fact that it's all consistent and it looks fancy, because I'm a fancy girl. So I got that from her, because she's awesome. Uh, from Leo and Roxy, an Evertote. I am part of the Floss of the Month Club. I have joined for both the brights and the neutrals. Do you want to know what they're called? You're going to hear what they're called. This is Milkshake. I shouldn't even be doing this because the light's so bad. This is like a sort of a white with a mauvey, purpley tint to it. Bellini. Delicious and peach. Sugar plum. Truffle. Sour candy. Isn't this fun? Uh, leaping lupins. Peach it, sister. Oh, 
Jungle Knights. Violet Woods. Butterscotch. Yum, 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 yum. It's a great gold. Bubbly. Legend Dairy. This is the only dairy that I consume. Oops. Sorry, guys, in their little ort on there. There's orts everywhere. Legend Dairy. Butter Chicken. I will use this floss, but I will not eat it. It's pretty orange. Very nice. And Silver Dollar. Love it. Medallion. Yellow there. Blizzard. Kind of a blue tint to it. Sorbet. Frosé. Oh, sorry about the orts everywhere. Frosé. And back to milkshake. So yeah, if you are interested in joining the Floss of the Month Club, uh, just head over to Evertotes and sign up. That's good. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, the haul. Um, that can't be all the haul. Because I'm, oh, my linen. My linen haul. Hang on. So many linens. So now it's all going to be mixed up with Stitch North haul and regular haul and whatever. So um, those are... This is also stitchy. Oh my god. I have a lot of stitchy kindness to you guys. I'm kind of the worst. Oh, here's another thing I got. Um, my mom wanted me to make this for her. It's a little Mill Hill kit of a little Victorian house. So I got this. I'm going to make this for my mom. Mom, do you want me to make it Christmassy like, like it is, or do you want me to take the wreath off and just make it like a winter Victorian house? It's pretty cute, right? I've never done a Mill Hill before. And, oh, it comes with beads and beading needles. Everything you need. I won't do it on the paper. I'll do it on linen. Isn't that darling? Oh, I think it's darling. All right. Linen. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I apologize a thousand times. All right, linens. You know I like me my linens, right? Right? You know I love linens. Okay, so this is, oh no, here's a chart that I bought. I got the Quaker sewing tray from With Thy Needle and Thread. Sorry about the glare. Super pretty, right? I won't put it in the tray. I'll make a little pillow or frame it or I don't know. Ryan will do something with it. And I got, I think this is from Traditional Stitches that I got this. This is Vin Lakeside Linen Vintage Lentil. Hang on. Sorry, I had some interruptions that I had to deal with. Um, as I was saying, uh, 36 count Vintage Lentil from Lakeside. I haven't even unfolded this to see all the glory, but it's a pretty nice piece of it, I have to say. Not too green, not too anything, just, uh, is this a full yard? Did I get a full yard of Lakeside? What organ did I sell to get this? No, this is a, this is a half. This is a half yard. Oh, it's glory. It's glorious. I think this was on back order for a year. Um, also from Traditional Stitches. Vintage. Vintage Cedar Plank. This is probably also a half yard. This is flipping beautiful. Mmm. I think that Ann Thomas um, 
the center band Thomas, the Walter, the bird would look pretty good on this. D freaking delicious. Okay. I need to be able to put all this stuff away. From Needle and Flax, Rachel at Needle and Flax. I ordered um, a fat half of Petoskey Stone because this is what I'm going to do the, the Park Hopper Bart in the Bleak Midwinter on. Sorry for the crinkles. I'm not sorry for the crinkles. It is what it is. People, I love you. But look at this. Won't this be perfect? in the bleak midwinter it looks like the bird and a tree and foliage maybe i'll just frame the linen because it's so gorgeous mm, it feels really good it smells really good got a half of this and rachel because she is a human being of great quality sent me a little extra she said no linen can travel alone. So she sent me a present. She gave, sent me a half, a fat half of Brea. Oh, no. Oh, geez, Louise, look at that. I haven't unfolded this yet. Oh, no, that's gorgeous. No, no, no. Needle and flax. Check her out. She's a one-woman show, so... um. Be patient when you order from her, but it is well worth the wait. Oh my God. This is my first time opening it up all the way. Look at that. Holy crap. No wonder Brenda and Laura freak out about this stuff. It's genius. Thanks, Rachel. That was very, very sweet of you. You certainly didn't have to send me a whole extra half yard. Um. I know I have more linen. Oh, it's in my Stitch North Hall, because yeah, I got a little bit. Oh, here's Redbird. You've all seen it. I'm gonna do Leo and Roxy conversion of that too, because of that, that turquoise. Leo and Roxy has some pretty darn good turquoises. Um, I got a lot of linen, because that's what I do. From Hand Dyed by Rolanda. I got this. It doesn't have a name, but it's 28 count and it's a quarter, 17 by 26. Oh my God. Look at that. That looks like a pansy in the middle. What's the other side look like? Oh my God. I could just look at linen all day. Could you look at linen all day or is it just me? Hand dyed by Rolanda. All that stuff will be in the drop down box below. Um, I met her at StitchCon and she is a freaking delight. Yeah, so you can uh, find her stuff on Etsy. I, I, yeah, she's on Etsy. Um, I got a bunch of Leo and Roxy um, linen. Uh, for some reason, I got two pieces of 36 count uh, blank slate because it's, this is basically my favorite color. This sort of de faded denim blue. That's just my eyeball. I haven't, I haven't unfolded them to see any. <laughs> you guys, I can't, I can't with this. Oh. Mm. With like a crew or white stitching, monochromatic. Yes, so this is blank slate. I thought it was clean slate, but it's blank slate. This is the fabric that I did the Winter Quakers on. 36 count WH. I don't know what that means. Carrie, what does WH mean? Yeah, I got a half of that. Or is this a quarter? Ooh, this is, I'm not sure if this is a half or a, I think this is a half. 
her linens are so good. Look at that. This is the perfect neutral. These will be coming to the Evertote website, I think, in a couple or three weeks. Um, if you follow uh, Evertote on Instagram, which you should, and, and Caroline off the grid needle arts, she'll make an announcement when these are available in the shop because they are stunning. I was so glad to be able to see them in person at Stitch North. And I met Carrie and she is kick ass. Um, I got this little guy. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I think it's 30, it's 32 count. This is the fabric that went with the he, he, he piece, the moon, moon, moonshine, moonlight cabin. Sorry, Caroline, but it's a nice dark fabric and it's 20, 32 count. And I might do uh, the bendy stitchy trimming the tree on this for my second round of it. Mm. Wait, life is good when you have linens. Oh, this little light of mine, 30, 32 count peanut brittle by Leo and Roxy. I can't even. <laughs> Are you crying with me? Because I'm crying how beautiful this is. I'm crying. 30, was that 36 or 32? 32 count peanut brittle. And this. This, I think this is one of the one of a kind ones. I don't I don't know if this is if they'll be repeating this or not, but I believe this is a let the little tag go. I think it's 36 count. Oh look, there's a little alien with his little antenna coming up in his two eyeballs. This looks like the stuff that's on a scummy pond. I don't think it has a name, but I'm gonna call it pond scum. I can't wait to stitch on Pond Scum by Leo and Roxy. It's not called Pond Scum. I don't know if it has a name. Um, I did get these from Stitch North. These are, I'm gonna take them out of the little, do you like that? Or do you hate that? I'm gonna take them out of the package to show you their hand-dyed Leo and Roxy flosses. Look. I'll leave, save my best one, favorite one for the last. Gilbert. Oh. Encore. We got some good reds at Leon Roxy. Warm and fuzzy. See the variation, the variegation in that? Wow. Sully. This is from a movie that I don't know. It's called Sully after some movie that I don't know. But apparently cool people know it. And Palomino. Oh, I know this is just a normal neutral, but I can't stop with this. It's so beautiful. Palomino. I hope she can reproduce this one. Anyway, all hand painted by Carrie at Leo and Roxy Floss Co. Um... What else did I get? I bought a, um, a project bag from Blarney's Blarney. I got a couple of um, issues of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher that um, Anna Tool, stitchy toolbox had at her vendor site just to see what the fuss is about. This came in this wag bag from Tiny Modernist. Look how cute. This also came in this wag bag from Pastime Pieces, which was another vendor. And there's a corner gauge. Here's our card. You need that and a little just a little blingy thing on a pin a bird a little bird and 2022 cute right um 
I think the rest is stitchy kindness. Um, I got a lot of stitchy kindness, you guys, uh, in the last four months. Um, a little overwhelming, but I'm very grateful and so pleased with all these lovely treats. Um, cats going bananas. Uh, with all these lovely treats. Um, so thank you to everyone. And if I have forgotten, forgotten that you gave me something, um, because people would come up at Stitch North and give floss drops and candy, and it was, it was, a, there was a lot, and it was lovely, really lovely that you thought of me. And if I've forgotten you, well, tell me so I can kick myself in the face. And I will. All right, stitchy kindness, but this this goes back to, this goes back to Christmas. Um, there's my oh here this and this and then I got this and then I got this thing and then I got that thing from Cindy Stitches at Christmas she sent me some beautiful red floss silken colors fancy lady floss a nice card thanks Cindy my bit on the side forever Stacy 911 stitcher holy crap a moly Look at what she sent me. Here's a Christmas card. Look at her crazy dogs. I got to meet her, which I'll talk about later. Um, she sent me a quarter of hog bristle in 40 count. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. It's so good. Oh my gosh, so much linen. I can't. Look at that. Stacy, I kind of am in love with you. And not just because you got me linen. And she sent me a big piece of marbled pointer by XJU. What count is it? 40 count. I'm not going to unwrap it because it's all nice. And it'll keep nicer if I don't but oh, Merry freaking Christmas to me and if that wasn't enough silks of Arasoir in these gorgeous Christmas colors stop it are you dying yet are you mad at me I'm mad at me I would hate me who does she think she is getting all these sweet presents from people Close up. Are you drooling? I'm drooling. So Stacy, thank you very much. You spoiled me. From, what's this? I don't know. This I got from my wife, Colleen, from Rebel Stitcher Designs. She sent me her first chart. Patrick O'Shanahan. He's ridiculously cute. And this adorable needle minder on this great card of Wonder Woman vanquishing a monster. But look at that little guy. Ho ho, I'm Patrick O'Shaughnessy. Oh, can you see him? Thanks, my wife. I love you. Um, while I was on the road, I, I met some nice uh, stitchers. Someone, I, like Laura, you know her, Laura Duet? Um, what's her floss tube? Um, Brenda and the crime fighter? Brenda and the serial killer? Brenda and the serial starter. She came to our show in Chicago and she gave me this project bag and in it she bought she bought one for herself and she bought one for me the modern folk embroidery um charity chart for ukraine that jacob put together and floss
from her own personal stash, mind you. And snizzers. And, <laughs> oh, there's a needle in here. Jeez Louise. She put this together in case I didn't have any stitching with me. She doesn't know me. With this cute little fabric. I have no idea what it is, but it's a perfect neutral. And are you ready to crap your pants? Oh, and there's two needles stuck in this too. Lakeside navy bean. What count is it? 36 count. She gave me lakeside. Laura. Tell Laura I love her. Tell Laura I need her. Tell Laura. Oh, and a hoop in case I didn't have stitching stuff with me. And this card, it's all fuzzy. Thanks, Laura. You're the ship. This is from this. Another thing I got, I feel bad, but I have to tell you what I got because it's awesome. This is from Pat Bell, Trisha Bell, who has a floss tube called Needle Notes with Stitcher Trish. I have her information below. Her husband, I'm assuming it's her husband or her brother. His name's Stephen. Made this little needle binder of this kitty cat. Meow. And she made me this project bag of dinosaur tacos. Can you even? I cannot even. Thanks, Trisha. You can never have too many project bags. Further to that, Susie Reno um, met her in St. Paul, and she is a pip. I love Susie Reno. Um, I'm going to marry her someday. Look what she made me. Look at this gorgeousness. And it says on the side, you are loved, handmade by Susie Reno. I'm loved by Susie Reno, you guys. But look at, it's, it's Dutch for all my Dutch samplers. Look at, there's windmills and ladies on bikes. Thanks, Susie. I can't wait to put something in it. My friend. Oh, you know, I, I forgot Cindy. It, in addition to those, um, that Silken Colors Red Floss, she also sent me this. Um, this is called Christmas Pines. Christmas Pines by Dixie Sampler. It's this little nice for an ornament, but it's a great color. It's 40 count. Look at that. Sorry, this was this had fallen out of the package with that had the floss in it. Sorry, Cindy. But it's kind of a neat color, right? Kind of a car key. From my friend Jody, Trixie Tricycle. so popular it's ryan ryan keeps ryan keeps texting me ryan stop i'm filming um my my good friend trixie tricycle who i love made me this project bag with this crazy 60s design it's for valentine's day oh my god baby yoda sang be mine Weeping. I love it. Thanks, Jody. Um, oh, it goes on, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, at Stitch North, these are some free, uh, some uh, stitchy kindnesses that I got from Stitch North. Dawn from uh. 
codependent knitter, codependent knitters and the knits best thing on Etsy. Bought this yarn for my mom and brought it to me from Timber Yarns. Because I don't knit, but my mom does. Look at that. This is in the colorway Optimistic. I've linked it below. Timber Yarns. It's so soft and so squishy and so... Mm. And it comes with this little stitch counter. It says squishy love because that's exactly what it is. It's a squishy love. I love timber yarns. I wish I knit. I, I can knit but I can't fix my mistakes and I, I'm not patient enough. My, my mom has tried to teach me how to uh, repair mistakes but it's just like I just throw a temper tantrum like a five-year-old and say I can't. I won't. So that's from my friend Dawn. She's a good friend of Caroline's and a quality human. Um, Larney's Blarney, the, the, the person who I bought the this uh, project bag from at Stitch North, she gave me a little present. She gave me a little thread bed, which I don't have. I don't have a thread bed and I want one. Look at that. With this simplicity. What does it say on it? You better like this. And I do. And look, on the inside, stitch your friends. Thanks, Larney. And there's lots of candy and candy and candy sticks. Oh, this is from Virtuity. This is a, another friend of Caroline's who I've, I've met way back in the past, but she gave me some, no, this is Mrs. Satis. Yeah, Mrs. Satis silk in copper. Thanks for Tootie. I love it. Candy. Oh, and on the package um, from Larney with the thread bed, there's a little crocheted flower she made that you can put on a, a project. I'll put it on the project bag I bought from her. I'm not stupid. I'll do that later. Um, oh, this is one of the ones that I can't remember who who I got this from. Um, it came in this little cute bag. I'm really sorry. And it came with a uh, one of the cards that you put on the back of your projects and floss drops and this little needle minder and bookmark. I'm sorry, I can't remember who gave this to me. Please let me know who you are so I can thank you properly and publicly. From Jen, Jennifer, who's Holly Berry Stitcher, she gave me some cat socks because she knows that I like cats and socks. And she included candy and floss drops. You see those floss drops in there? And the candy. A, crunch, a coffee crisp and Smarties. I, I think she got these for her American friends because they, they don't get our kinds of Smarties and and coffee crisp so those were those were quite popular as gifts at Stitch North for our American friends this was from my crazy life Lori oh here's a whole bunch of floss drops who did I get this from oh this is from um Shell Sterling Girl look at that little scissor fob and pin thing and needle minder thanks Shell And floss drops and stickers. Who's this? Forest City Stitching. Who's this from? Lisa. Floss drops. She took that picture herself. This floss, these floss drops are from um, our table mate Yvonne. She's Bunny Stitches X's on Instagram. I've linked it below. She was a hoot. I really like meeting Yvonne. And this this is from my crazy life, Lori. A little Ohio needle minder and a little floss thing that you hang your flosses from when you have a thing to hold your flosses from. Thanks, Lori. Does this pen also in it? 
I had a few things together in this bag because I'm a dip. Little pen. You could pick your nose with it or you could write a letter. I'm going to write a letter. But I might also pick my nose because I like uh, craziness. Um, oh, here's this. That. In the swag bag that we got. Oh, this is going to be long. We got a needle minder from Karen DeRoche from Rocky Mountain Needle Minders. I'll hold the needle minder and her information there. That was a freebie. She had a nice setup in the vendor section. Oh, and this is the Stitch North freebie and it came with the Leon Roxy glasses. Oh, what a mess I have to clean up. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie. And, um, Patty Brake from uh, Four Boys and an NL Girl, um, who also has a shop called Bryn and Needle. Bryn and Needle. Patty, help. This cool little box with all the things you need. Bryn and Needle, Needle floss. Here's her, here's her, here's her card. Can you see that okay? And a little freebie chart. A lot of people were stitching this. And a little piece of hand dyed linen and a needle to do it with. So thanks, Patty. That was fun. A lot of people were stitching this. It's like a, a heart in a hand pattern. I didn't, don't want to hold it up too close. But if you if you follow the hashtag Stitch North on Instagram, you will see you will see this. And Caroline gave us all little project bags. Thanks, Caroline. You're all right. I also won a door prize. It was the first of the, of like, I think there were probably 15 or 20 door prizes. And I won the very first one. And it's from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. And I got quite a bit of stuff in this little goodie bag piece of this fancy Lugana opalescent. Oh my gosh. I think that Patrick O'Shanahan would look pretty good on this, don't you? It is 28 count, so that I might actually be able to use it. I, I have a hard time stitching on opalescent fabric for some reason. I, I, I don't know why, but this is a 28, so it might be okay. I've never stitched on anything like this before. And it came with a fancy waxer. Hang on. Scissors. For cutting. And hand dyed by Rolanda Floss, which I haven't opened yet. I just looked at it. Ooh. Oh dear. Look at this. Look at these. Holy moly, as Pam would say. These are good. I've uh, linked hand dyed by Rolanda below, so you should check her out. She's a quality lady. And here's her business card. Yes. I'm hoping that you can see this. It's linked below anyway. Um, and I think is that it? Da, 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 da. Oh, my friend Ryan. Have I mentioned that I have a friend Ryan? For no reason at all. You know what these are. For no reason at all. Got me these. Mm, 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 mm. Kahanas. When I first started using them, I thought, oh, these are, these are good. These are fine. Um, they're scissors. But then when I had to frog something out, these are fine. These are good. Thanks, Ryan. You're the bee in my bonnet. Ryan was my roommate at Stitch North. And uh, we had quite a bit of fun. 
Many laughs were had. Many laughs. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do a recap or show a lot of pictures of Stitch North because there's a lot of people who are doing that. And I actually didn't take that many pictures. But I sat at a table with um, Jody, Trixie Tricycle, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan McGuy. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm distracted by a huge bird. Oh, no, it's a squirrel. Um, Ryan, Ryan McGuy. Um, Nikki the Canuck. I've linked her below her Instagram. Gwyneth, X, Curling Stones and X Stitches. Yvonne. And me. There were six, six of us. Yeah, six of us. And uh, we had a ton of fun. We were a good table and we were sitting by some fun tables. We were sitting next to uh, Shiloh, X Stitch MD. She was there. And Situation Normal was there. And. Oh, there were so many and I'm horrible, but uh, I should, I didn't take notes and I should have. I was just sort of in the moment enjoying and um, it was my first retreat and Caroline and Matt and Hannah and the whole Aerotote crew put on a really good, a really good retreat. It was lots of fun. There were great vendors. We had a pizza party and there was even vegan pizza for people like me. Um, and there, it was just, uh, you know, laughing till you've, your stomach hurt and so many beautiful projects and I met some wonderful wonderful people as as we as you do at retreat um I learned a few things of, of what to take next year to to re retreat because yeah I'm going to I'm signed gonna sign up for Stitch North 2023 and hopefully I won't be on the road but um yeah if I'm in town I'm definitely going I'm gonna sign up and I've learned that uh bring a cushion because your butt gets sore and bring an extra battery pack for your light. Good things to have. But it was it was a perfect retreat. It ran perfectly smoothly and Caroline was a delight and Matt was a delight and Hannah was a delight and uh, Carrie from Leo and Roxy was, oh, she was all right. Um, but I had a great time. But I have a huge mess around me and I know I have forgotten a lot of things. Um, but that's, it's better to do it now and miss a few things than never do it. Right. So thanks for hanging in there with me and, you know, being patient <laughs> and, um, I look forward to, oh no, wife of the week and put on the side. <laughs> I forgot. Wife of the week. My wife of the week. <laughs> How can I forget this? My wife of the week this week is a, a, a floss tuber that I've been getting to know over the last several months and she's charming and kind and her floss tubes are so interesting and informative and organized and she is she's just one of those people that you you know you could sit down with and talk with for three hours and never run out of things to talk about um, she came to see us at our show in New York, and I met her partner, and I'm talking about Stacy, the 911 stitcher. She's uh, very popular on FlossTube and Instagram, and uh, I love her to bits. So, Stacy, you are my wife of the week. Mm -hmm. Love you. My bit on the side. No, I wrote it down. My bit on the side. Uh, she's a commenter, and... Um, a lovely, lovely Instagrammer and um, sort of getting to know her a little bit through Instagram. And I'm talking about Margaret Yoder, who her Instagram is mama underscore yo, yo, Yoder. And so she's my bit on the side. I'll meet you at the um, Super 8 Motel and we'll talk about linen all night long. You're my bit on the side. Mwah. Now I really am done. Thanks again, peaches. Rock on. Slugs. I need you to do a little dance for me. I'm just so inspired by blood.